So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 13th Electron Framework tutorial in which we're going to continue with our crazy images and just give me a second here. Okay, so let's just begin where we left. Now we were getting this error right here if I remember. So it says me pretty much that we haven't registered the controller yet. So let's just do that app.controller it was edit control this would be a function scope and that is pretty much it for now now what we want is uh, we want to have an interface where we can pretty much show the image to the user as well and show some controls to the user as well so how we can do that so first let's of all get rid of that so we're going to create an id of image editor and this would be our image editor page and then we can say this this is divided preview right where would where our image would be and we can say that this is image src now the first problem is that we need to get the path of the image from this controller the home controller to the edit controller right so we can pretty much create a very simple service here which would do our work so let's just create a service by app.service and let's just call this image and uh, this would be something like uh, our image path is this and we can say this dot set image path is a function which gives us a path and we can say image path is path and we can say this dot get image path is another function which pretty much just return the image path we have right and then what we can do is inside our head controller we can implement this image service and we can or not in head controller actually the home controller and finally we can say image dot set image path has path and uh, yep inside our edit controller we can again get this image and we can say that scope dot image path is uh, image dot get image path and then finally inside our edit image we can make use of uh, ngsrc actually instead of just echoing it but the echo would i guess probably work just fine doesn't matter so yeah that's it so if we take a look now if I upload E1 we get a broken image uh, image but okay I guess we can just do it like this and now if we run it again you should see that our image is loaded but it's way too big so we're gonna need some css in here and inside our style.css i'm gonna say this is edit image css now we can say that uh, right here we have a preview and we're gonna have some ID image controls or image effects or rather let's just go with controls only uh, let's just say div type effect type uh, let's just keep it to 5 for now we'll just add or remove as we need so we're gonna say uh, preview uh, display flex really yeah we're just gonna need that so we can just do that align item center and we need these two to be equal with right so we're gonna say flex one and for our global selector we're gonna say maximum width is 100 percent so that the image just fits in again e1 it is we see that image fits in properly but our second child is uh, actually good because there's no content in there so we're gonna say something like uh, bright 
brightness, brightness, contrast, um, I don't know, invert, sepia, and uh, what else did I do? Uh, grayscale, for now, let's just keep it to 5, we'll add later on, E1, okay, so we get this, but uh, not really in the way we want. So we're gonna add some styles in here. Display flex, flex direction, this row, and uh, yep. So finally, if you take a look, we upload a file. We can see that. Uh, our controls aren't looking that good so we can just customize the image controls to be flex direction column because for the preview it doesn't really matter because this is gonna be one element so we can just put that it doesn't matter right so that is pretty much how it should look like and uh, where is it? Yeah, so these are our options and uh, for the effect type we can apply some more CSS and we can do that all day. So anyways we have just created our basic layout for the editor and we're gonna make some CSS in here so that this thing looks on the right looks good and uh, yeah that's all pretty much for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and in the next one we're going to continue again with the same app. So see you then real soon.